you're into photography, hiking, camping, you know gear means a lot. You know what kind of gear, how much it weighs, what quality is it, you know the durability. Gear just means so much. And for me, one of the hardest things I found since I started doing photography was finding a tripod that really was efficient, durable, and you know could just get the job done for the most part and what what i found is so many tripods are great i mean they're absolutely great but they're heavy when you do a lot of backpacking heavy is not an option it's just not an option and even if you're doing short day trips why carry around an extra couple of pounds if it's unnecessary i want to introduce you to the tripod that's replaced all other tripods when it comes to my gear. The Peak Design Travel Tripod. It comes in both carbon fiber and aluminum. I chose the carbon fiber model because it's a little bit lighter. It comes in at two pounds and 13 ounces. It holds up to 20 pounds, so that'll hold just about any DSLR or mirrorless camera with its accommodating lens. It collapses into a diameter of three and one eighth inch. There's no wasted space on this tripod. It collapses down to 15.4 inches in height, but it can reach up to 60 inches in height. You can shoot inverted. You can also go low profile of down to five and a half inches. This is a huge, huge feature on all tripods as far as how fast you can deploy the tripod and you know the stability of the tripod, the, the durability of the tripod, a lot of those screw down uh, fasteners, well they get sand in them or something and they're just a nightmare. But this is simple. You can, you, can, you can take one thumb, pop all four of these, fully extended, fully compressed. And you can feel the quality in these latches. Now, I've had this tripod for about three months and I've been using it a lot. And so I can tell you that it's definitely a very durable setup. The locks are durable. I've had it on the beach. I've had it in the water. And it's, it's like it's brand new. These, these latches are all like they're brand new. The foot. Still have to pay attention to it, right? The reason that they have this is because they have an option where you can buy spikes, you know, in case you're on the beach or in the sand or you need to get a little bite to the, to the leg. But these screws I've been checking them, they have not loosened up. And like I said, three months of good use on it. This little guy right here, hold your cell phone. Easy to deploy, easy to get on the tripod, and really just fills a void that a lot of tripods, most tripods don't have. And it's real simple to, to use. You just pull down and twist. Out comes the plug, and then inside, is the the bracket that holds your cell phone wrap it around your cell phone and bam there's your cell phone on the tripod now i don't use my cell phone a whole lot for purposes like this but i know a lot of you guys do and that's a huge feature one of the key features of the peak design travel tripod is the ball head the ball head's very unique it has this little ring right here and this ring has grooves to keep your fingers from slipping and so if you take that counterclockwise it loosens the ball up and it rotates very smoothly. Very nice setup. You can go all directions. You can spin, you can you know, tilt, whatever you want to do. And it's so much better than other travel tripods or any tripods for that matter, because you don't have multiple knobs to figure out or, you know, it, it just, when you need a shot fast, you know, you don't want to be switching between knobs and getting the wrong one. So this is just a really unique feature. Another unique feature is the lock. The lock ring just above the ball head ring is right here. And so that direction, the camera's locked onto the tripod. And you come back, the camera can now be taken off or put on the tripod. Another unique feature about the Peak Design Travel tripod is the extension head here, or the extension arm. It has a little ring right here, or a little uh, knob. You loosen it, and it stretches up. Now the one thing I'll say is that if you have it all the way down, and this is to make it compact. You see these little, these little, uh, it's just part of the structure that goes around the ball. It slides into these grooves and then this doesn't move at all, which is great to keep it still for traveling. But you gotta make sure that it's up a little bit when you're using it so that the ball head still moves. 
I think one of the primary features I love about this tripod is the fact that it's so compact. Folds into a really small shape. There's literally no wasted space on this design at all. It has two settings for the legs. You have one, that's just standard, and then you can flip and come up here if you're trying to go low profile. Another undervalued tool is right here, right on the head, a bubble level. I mean, I can't tell you how many tripods I've went through where there's no bubble level. I mean, it's a simple feature. It should be standard on all tripods, but it's not. I use Manfrotto's RC3 quick plate. And the great thing about this Peak Design uh, tripod, tripod and their company, they've created a plate that does both the RC3 and the standard plates. So this is amazing. I don't have to switch up all the plates on all my cameras. And that's why I like this RC3 plate. And I'm so happy that Peak Design jumped in there and made a compatible plate so that all the plates, I just buy these Peak Design plates so I can go either way. So on my shoulder harness, on my Peak Design uh, carrier on my for my backpack, this slides right in. And then it has the RC3 plate to fit on the tripod and all my other tripods. The same plate always fits my tripod no matter which one I'm using. The carbon fiber is I think $600 and the aluminum is around $350 uh, US. I personally think the carbon fiber is just a little bit more sturdy, but it's quite a bit more expensive. So another thing about a tripod is how travel friendly it is when you're flying. You, know, you can't have a great big tripod. Well, you can, uh, you know, tripod attached to your bag on the outside, or if you're trying to get it on the inside, you're using up a lot of valuable real estate. I'm a backpacker and a hiker, so my gear is generally on my person, on my back, and weight means everything. The carbon fiber model comes in at 2.81 pounds or 1.27 kilograms. The aluminum travel model comes in at 3.44 pounds or 1.56 kilograms. There's a lot of factors to look at when you're thinking about buying a new tripod. And the, the one thing that I was, I always got out of other people from their suggestions on tripods, and a lot of gear for that matter, is buy nice or buy twice. And it simply means spend a little extra money on your first one and it's gonna save you money later because you're not going to buy any more. You're not gonna buy as many. And that's exactly what happened for me with a lot of gear, including tripods. I started out with a bulky, heavy tripod, worked well, but when I started putting it on my back and carrying it around, uh, not so much. There's all kinds of videos about what tripod to get and why, uh, you know, and it, it, a lot of it is personal preference and circumstances. For me, again, I do a lot of backpacking, so, you know, I'm. I'm four, five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 miles out in the woods away from my vehicle. I'm not getting any cut from Peak Design or any other affiliates regarding this tripod. This is just a piece of gear that I found solves a lot of the holes that most other tripods leave. The most important thing is the unique head. It's one control and it does everything, it includes shooting portrait mode or landscape mode in a matter of just seconds. It's secure, you don't have to worry about your camera popping off the top. Quite honestly, it looks good. It looks real good. Comes in a nice case, it's a wonderful tripod. If you're in the market or you have a problem with your existing tripod, I seriously think you'd be benefited by looking into purchasing the Peak Design Travel Tripod. If you do, tell us how you make out with it in the comments down below. I greatly appreciate your support. I hope you guys have an awesome week and I'll see you on the next video.